Hey there, what's up? Andre here from PSD Box. My YouTube videos and my articles on the website receive a lot of comments every day and I try to answer as many as I can, but obviously I cannot uh, reply to every comment that I get. And sometimes I get the same question over and over again. And I decided I would make this video for this particular question. A lot of people have been asking how they can adjust a particular layer without affecting another one. So uh, I will show you how to use that. It's called clipping masks. So this is a basic tutorial uh, for beginners. And I will show you how to use clipping masks to affect only a specific layer. So what I will do first is create a snapshot. I'm using Photoshop CS6 and I created this snapshot here with the image that I have so that I can compare with, uh, with, um, with the result that I will get. And what I will do, I'm using a PSD file by the way. Now, this is from another tutorial that I have already on my website. And uh, I'm using this PSD file because I don't want to create um, another, another PSD file so I, I will use this one. And what I will do is scroll down on the layers palette and locate the, the layer of the woman. And I will delete all of these layers. And also these levels. So everything, uh, I deleted every single layer that affected this uh, woman layer. So you can see this was the original stock image that um, I extracted from the background. And if I want to make this woman um, fit this uh, scenario here, you can see it's really dark. I wanted to create a night effect. And of course I have to create the shadows and I have to make, uh, I have to make this woman blend a bit better with the, with the ambient here. So in order to do that, you have to use clipping masks because for example, if I want to use layers to, to darken the image, if I go down here and choose levels, if I decrease the midtones, for example, you can see the whole image goes dark. And the same if I want to use, for example, a gradient map. You can see that it affects the whole image. And that's because adjustments like gradient maps and all the adjustments from this list here, if you use adjustments, adjustments as, as layers, they will affect everything that is below them. So that's why you affect the entire image. And in order to affect only the layer that you want, in this case, this layer here, you have to create, you have to clip this adjustment to the layer. So you can, there are a couple of ways of doing that. You can right click and choose create clipping mask or a faster way to do that. If you press and hold the alt key and if you put the mouse between the two layers, you can see that the mouse changes. And if you click, you will create the clipping mask. And you can see that now the gradient is clipped to this layer and you can see that arrow here which indicates that and you can also see that now it's only visible over the woman over this uh, layer here so if i release the clipping mask you can see it affects everything and if i clip it it affects only the woman so that's what clipping masks uh, do so now i could uh, change the colors of this uh, i remember the color that i used i think let's see if i if I make a good adjustment here, something like that. And I think the blend mode was multiply or something like that. And then reduce a bit the opacity. Well, actually the, the opacity was okay, but I need a brighter, a brighter tone for, for the gradient maps. I already have a tutorial about uh, gradient maps explaining how they work. So if you want to see that tutorial, you can, you can go ahead and do it. So this was the gradient map. Now I can use levels. Also, you can see that you can clip as many layers as you want. And even though this levels adjustment is on top of the gradient, it's still clipped to the, to the first um, normal layer, let's call it. But uh, if I change the levels here, it will affect the gradient and this layer. So if you want to only affect, uh, if you don't want to affect the gradient, you can drag it under it. So. Uh, the order affects uh, how how these uh, adjustments interact uh, with each other. So I can increase the the highlights, maybe and maybe decrease the midtones, something like that. And now, if I want to paint, for example, that light that I had here or the shadows here on the back, I could create a normal layer and clip it again to this um, 
so this uh, stack here and I could get the brush tool uh, have a really low opacity and I can paint some shadows right here on the woman's back and change the blend mode let's see to multiply maybe and decrease the opacity just a bit so you can see that shadows makes it look a bit more realistic and now let's add a few a few light effects if you do, if i don't clip the layer the layer to the ones below i'll show you what happens i'll change the blend mode to color dodge and i choose a color so this this is not a manipulation tutorial i i already have the tutorial on my website if you want to see it i just want to show you what happens if you clip or if you don't clip the, the layers and with the brush tool i'll paint uh, this light here it's not really a good uh, light but anyway uh, so i created the light uh, on the woman's body but you can see that uh, it affects the background as well but if i clip it if i press and hold the alt key and put the mouse right here and click you can see that now it's only visible over the woman because it uses this layer of the woman as a as a mask that's why it's called a clipping mask so that's how i added the effects there is not really a good light effect but anyways you can uh, if you can read the tutorial if you want to see how i created that light so while that's all about clipping mask i hope uh, you understood how how they work so uh, here ends this um, beginner's uh, tutorial i hope you I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and see you next time.